For the first time in eight years, One Valley Congressman will face three challengers to represent a district stretching from Brownsville to San Antonio. Channel 5's Rudy Medellis spoke with all four candidates. Christopher Royal says being independent allows for true representation. I can pick the Democrat side. I can pick the Republican side. I'm going to pick what's the right side. And if one, uh, if they both don't have the right idea, I'll write the own my own law. He says the region's talent has been forgotten. We sell ourselves short. You know that? That's what I think of. Because we have such a good group of people, intelligent, and why don't we have more businesses down here, more factories? And that's what I'll work for. Anthony Christo says border issues are a twofold problem. A lot of it is because of something that our government has done to upset their government and cause some issues. And now we're trying to put, uh, put turn our back on them and put them in cages. Setting a lack of federal aid during weather events, he wants to redirect federal taxes. Money taken out of their check going to the federal government in Washington, D.C., and they really don't know what, what that community needs. And that's why I think cutting the taxes, on at least on the federal level, is going to do wonders. Dr. Ray Gonzalez is running as a Republican, but says he isn't beholden to a single party. My loyalties are to the state of Texas, are to the people of the 34th Congressional District. So I've told folks repeatedly that I'm not going to Washington to make friends. I'm going there to represent, get in, do some time serving my people, and then get out. Self-imposing a term limit would help him work to get rid of poison bills and pork spending. If you ask yourself, who would oppose such an amendment? Just the lobbying groups and those politicians that owe the lobbying groups because their opportunities to get paid is going out the window. Finishing year eight in office, Congressman Philemon Vela says infrastructure improvements have been a major win. Probably the most concrete uh, thing that we've been able to accomplish from an infrastructure standpoint um, is the Brownsville Airport, which uh, the, the ribbons will get cut on that. Uh, you know, de in, in November or December, but that's like a $55, $60 million project. By helping veterans navigate the VA and other local issues are where he believes his work has been most impactful. The thousands and thousands of cases uh, that our local offices have worked on uh, to, to help constituents on day-to-day -day matters. All four candidates had one thing in common, asking everyone to vote on or before November 3rd, regardless of party. In the Brownsville Bureau, Rudy Mireles, Channel 5 News at 6.